morning we'll be uh, removing from the uh, from the trench behind us our oldest piece of pipe that was in service up to just a week ago. It's from uh, 1859 it was installed, so a while back, but uh, 12 years before the Chicago fire and a little before uh, Abe Lincoln took office. It's uh, been serving this River North area for uh, obviously 160 years, served well, but it's time to uh, move on into our more modern uh, system. We've been upgrading our system for about the last seven years on a specific uh, accelerated program. It'll go on for about 30 years, and that's because there were 2,300 miles of uh, old deteriorating main put in uh, in the 1800s and early 1900s. And so that main we've been gradually taking out of the ground. We kind of rank it according to how it's performing. Basically, it's a risk ranking based on leaks and cracks and other uh, failures of the system over time. This piece of pipe in particular over the last a number of years had 30 leaks on it. You'll see it's not a very long segment, so that's uh, it's come due to be removed. Here we are at the corner of Hubbard and Orleans in 2019, surrounded by high rises. The Merchandise Mart is just down the way. Nice stores. Let's go back to 1859. When this pipe was put in, you had a cluster of little wood cottages. It was pretty dark streets and also pretty dark in the houses. And if you had light in your house, it was from having candles or having to fill an oil lamp. So here comes the new technology, which would be remarkable in 1859, gas. You could have a fixture in your house that would give you reliable, brilliant light. Dark streets could now have a gas street light that would brightly make the street a safe place to walk. So that was the environment of when this pipe was put in. And it wasn't just serving this area. This is mainline gas lines going out into other areas of the city. So they just kept extending the lines out more and more and more. The city evolved over time and that pipe stayed right where it was. So it was a good iron pipe. I mean, and the idea that it would last that long, but it witnessed a changing city. And it actually not only just sat there, it was actually powering all these places. People's Gas is actually very good about keeping track of their history. And my understanding is a section of this pipe is going to go to the Chicago History Museum. And I think they are also looking out for preservation of other parts of it. Because it's an important bit of history. It's not that often you get to see a pipe from 1859. And not just any pipe, but a real game changer in terms of the history of Chicago and technology. Mm -hmm.